back and I apologize. I don't know if I'm fuzzy or what or if it's just me because I'm blind. Color looks kind of off, but I hope we're good. Um, welcome to Saturday Standouts. I hope you're doing well. I hope you girls had a great week. Um, I don't have many products to show you today, but I want to show you some things that I have been loving throughout the week. So let's just get started. I have a couple things for hair. First thing is my Herbal Essences Volumizing Body Envy sham um, Shampoo. Hairspray. I love this stuff. It's got 24-hour holds, humidity protection. Um, smells great. Really like it. doesn't flake um, that I've noticed. Um, I have heard a lot of girls saying that there's flakes on them, but I don't notice any flaking. So maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm one of the lucky ones. But love, love, love this hairspray. Next thing for my hair is the Rock Your Hair Girls with Curls Curl Cream. Define separate control. Got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99. And it's really, really cute packaging. As you can see, the little, you know, rhinestone embellishment there. It just gives me, like, really nice curls. I have it here. They're defined. have it here. I have it on my hair today. Um, it just defines my curls nicely. Gives it a nice shine without that crunchy feeling. So, really, really love that stuff. Next thing that, I, that I've been loving is actually for my makeup brushes. Um, we all know that I love my Sephora brand makeup brush cleaner just because the smell is just phenomenal and it does clean my brushes very well. However, I ran out of that and I picked this up at Harman's. It's the Siege Daily Cosmetic Brush Cleaner. This stuff does not smell good. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It just, let's just put it this way. It doesn't have like really a smell that lingers afterwards. It's not like that pretty flowery scent that I love from the Sephora brand. But this stuff really does clean my brush as well. I'll take my rag, spray it on there, and then I will just rub the bristles of the brushes over that spot that I wet, um, saturated with the spray. And it cleans them perfectly. Um, also sanitizes them. And this stuff contains, um, where did I read? Hold on. Aloe vera chamomile extract, DEA, purified water, and anionic detergents. Um, so it cleans the bristles very, very well and also helps to um, saturate them with like an anti-bacterial um, kind of um, mixture. So it's really, really good for the brushes. I think I paid maybe seven bucks for this and this is an eight fluid ounce container. So not bad. Harman's again, that's where I got that. Okay, next thing is um, lip products. I have been absolutely loving my Touch of Spice Matte um, by Maybelline. This is like the dupe for the uh, Sephora and Pantone Color of the Year. Absolutely love it. I have it on my lips today. Um, and another product that I have on my lips is by Rimmel. It's the Exaggerate. I've gone through like 10 of these. <laughs> it's the um, Exaggerate Lip Liner Full Coverage, uh, Full Color Lip Liner in the shade East End Snob. I mean, look at it. It's just beautiful. Love it. I filled in my lips and lines, and then I went over it with the Touch of Spice. And then, as a topper, I used my next favorite, which is the Show Off Lip Lacquer by Rimmel London. This is the shade Solstice. It's just a beautiful, um, like a pinky mauve kind of color. And like I said, I have it on now, so here you go. Just really, really, really love it. Um, moisturizing, pigmented, and really great. Next thing I've been loving is for my under eyes. Um, I have it on today. It's the e.l.f. High Def Under Eye Setting Powder. This stuff is so bomb. Like, <laughs> If you have it, you know what I mean. If you don't, you girls should definitely pick this up. It's like a pink crystallized powder that does not add any color under your eyes. It just sets beautifully. It's finely milled, and it just has, like, the sparkle effect. It just gives you, like, I don't know. It just, like, wakens up your under eyes. Love, love, love it. Very little goes a very long way, so love that. Next is actually my homemade base that I made. I actually posted a video of this on my channel. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. It's just my own concoction. I made my own eyeshadow base. This stuff has been like my go-to all week. It's bomb. I love it. Again, I'll link it down below if you're interested in seeing how I made this. And last but not least, I posted a picture on Instagram that I actually saw on a page called Dupe That. Um, they basically post pictures of dupes for higher end products or popular products um, I should say and this was one of them it's a dupe for the Mary Luminizer by the Balm this is the elf big highlighter in the shade Moonlit Pearls I have it on my cheeks today and I don't have the Mary Luminizer um, but I saw the side-by-side -side 
whoop, picture of the dupe comparison. Like I said, I posted it on my Instagram. If you want to go check that out, go ahead. Um, but it's a dead ringer. I absolutely love it. And I loved this, these highlighters, you know, all together before I even knew that this was a dupe for that one. But it's just a quality product. Three bucks for this highlighter. Like, you can't beat it. And like I said, it's on my cheeks, but look at that. Just beautiful. So... That's it for this week's favorites, girls. I hope you um, have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy. And I will see you next week. All right, take care. Bye.